Hi guys, Garrett from Real Goods here again, wanting to talk to you about uh, the big brother in our Yeti series, the Yeti 400. Perfect for emergency backup, car camping or going camping, want to keep some of the creature comforts of home with you. Lots of different uses, uh, excellent little unit. To start off with, as you can see here, we have your two AC uh, plugins, we have two USB ports, and we have the car charger and also the DC outs, and of course we have our input. It is also has a, a pure sine wave inverter, which is going to be great for using your electronics, uh, if you have a TV that you wanted to run off of this, or if you were charging maybe some batteries, Pure sine wave is going to help out with that a ton. As you can see here on the display, it's giving you how much output that it's putting out right now, which is four watts. That's just essentially the inverter working right there. And we also have the battery level, which is very easy to read, as well as your input. So you can easily see, you can easily manage your power usage. The Yeti 400 has a 400 watt hour battery inside of it which is easily accessible with four Allen bolts that are easily taken out. You pop the top off, battery's right there, available from most battery manufacturers or battery stores. Uh, very easy to come across, nothing, uh, nothing special about it, which is really, really nice for being able to maintain your batteries. If you have a backup battery that you wanna have for emergency situations to swap in and out, 400 has ports on either side, so you can run these uh, in series with uh, other batteries or other Yeti 400s, or you can add on a battery for extra storage. It has a nice little handle here because you're going to need it. It's nice and robust because this thing weighs about 40 pounds. The 400 has three different options for charging. Like I said, you can go PV which depending on the size panel will, will determine how much, how much the time is. The Nomad 20s, if you link two of those together, you can charge the Yeti 400. It takes about 20 hours to do that. So about 40 watts a panel, 20 hours charge time. And it actually comes with the uh, standard wall plug for a standard 110. And that will take roughly five hours to charge. Also with an accessory, you are able to plug this into your 12 volt adapter, your car adapter, for a charge of about 13 hours. So versatile, able to charge different ways, which also makes it really great for those emergency situations where maybe you don't know where you're going to be getting your next charge from. 